Oh wow, this is fun. Check it out. Frank, my dog friend, you met Frank. We're here on my land, also with Mr. Fievel. And this is, wow, my first little pond. How was it, Frank? So this tube here, um, you can see, oop, is where the river water comes out. So we have a, a pipe that goes to the local river. Many, this is a common practice here. And it is saturating the land with water, which, as you know, is the key to life. So I am here on my land, and we are about to go down to the house that is under construction um, to show you that we've actually started um, the work, well, the guys have started the work on the walls. So in this video, you're going to meet the team who is uh, doing the labor. Um, and let's see where we're at in, in the process. So, um, so far, as you can see, this is what the house is looking like. It is just a foundation made of stone. Um, so I mentioned that here in Guatemala, we don't have winter, so snow is not a concern, but our biggest concern is actually rain and the amount of water that comes through. Oh, by the way, the workers have a dog over there that when I showed up with my three dogs, they tied him up. So just so you know, that's what's going on. He's okay and he'll be let off the leash when we leave. Um, so, all right. So I am, I am with, with the kids. I got Mr. Fievel, of course I got Stella with me. And this is Fievel's second time visiting the land. This is Frank. This is Frank's first time visiting the land. He got in a tuk-tuk and he got, <laughs> yeah, he just hopped right in the tuk-tuk with me and he's like, I wanna go, I'm going with you. It's like, all right, Frank. So, so here we go. Here is the foundation of the house, as you see. And this is the team. So this is Vicente, his two sons, and also another young man, Nacho, who's not related. Um, but as you'll see, we have a, um, like a, like a like frame for the house. Um, we have a, st a foundation. Um, so as I said, the concern, the big concern is water, not, uh, not the winter. But during the rainy season, the monsoon season, a lot of water comes, comes through. So what you don't see is under these stones, there is a, a ditch that's been dug and it's called a French drain. So a French drain um, holds a series of, of rocks where the water can pass through. And then the bottom of the drain is angled in a certain way that it diverts the water away. So the whole idea is you want to any, you don't want water to collect in the foundation of the house because that'll lead to water damage and mold and situations that will cause damage um, and more expenses later down the line. Uh, so we say in natural building that one of the best things, the most important things are good boots and good hats. So we don't have a hat yet. The hat would be the roof. The boots would be the foundation. So let me show you what's going on here. So it looks like they're putting mud on the wall. So here is the stone foundation with these flat rocks lajas on the outside. And then here on top, this is a mixture called cob. Now cob is made out of earth, so clay. Um, and you know it's clay because if you squeeze it, it doesn't fall apart. It turns into like a little, a little turd. <laughs> so it's a mixture of clay, sand, water, and also straw. So you'll see that the guys are mixing in the straw and, and then creating this like yummy, mushy, fun, squishy material here called cob. And so right now it's wet, but over time it will dry. And so the first floor of the house is gonna be made entirely with cob. So there's no, there's no wood framing, there's no nothing. So the first floor is a weight bearing level of cob. Um, yeah, and it's really great. So I'm actually looking forward to getting in there as well, not today, and getting my hands dirty. So this is what we learned about in Ashley's natural building course. This is how I can, you know, talk about French drains and understand, you know, what the, what the mixture is of materials that we're working with. Um, uh, and so she's actually going to have a course coming up. And you want to know the cool piece of news she shared with me? When she teaches these courses, she does projects so the students get the theoretical learning, but then they also get hands-on learning on a project. And she said that she wants to use my my project here as the class project, which is amazing. So it's not that they would build the whole thing, but students will have the experience working with Cobb 
here on this structure. So I'm going to share that link to her new website, which she's working on now when that class becomes available. If you want to come down to Guatemala and meet me and hang out and put your hands on this house, like that could be a really, really fun opportunity. And Stella will be there. Yeah, you'll be there, girl. So now let's go inside. Um, let me show you what else is going on here. So, so this, as you've seen before, this is the front door. Hey, Frank. Yeah. Oh, hi, girl. Hi. So this is, I think this is Luna. Hey, cha-cha-cha. Hey, cha-cha-cha. So this is one of the dogs from next door. And if Saya is around, so Saya is actually Fievel's sister. So this is, this is the dog that um, one of the puppies went to the same house. Um, but this is not the puppy. No, this is not the puppy, but we might see her. We'll probably see her at some point because they literally, it's just my neighbors like right over here, right up the mountain. Um, hey, Fievel. Um, so this is where the kids are right now. This is the front of the house. So this is, hey, choo choos. So this, these are my front steps here, which Luna is modeling, which is very sweet. Oh, Stella, keep the drama to a minimum, please. Um, so what you see through the back, that's the, the back door. It's gonna lead to like a, like, a, like a little yoga deck, like a wooden deck, which is gonna be my like indoor outdoor area. Hi, Luna. Hi, Luna. Yeah, what a good girl. Excuse us. Hi, yeah. Yeah, good girl. All right, so we're going we're through going. here. Going. See what the guys are doing. So what's really great about this kind of work is it's really, really satisfying you get your hands dirty, you get your feet dirty, you get really get into it. It's actually kind of therapeutic. When we did it in the course, it was like, you know, you can go into, you can go into the day with all the stuff in your mind, anxiety, and then you, you end up working with earth, working with, with, with mud. And there's something about it that just kind of makes you feel better. So yes, these guys are employed. <laughs> they are not my slaves, no. They are, uh, em they are working for me for a good wage and they're very happy to have this work and they're working together. Um, well, this is Sunday and his two sons. It's really cool that they can work together as pretty much as a family. Um, Felipe just had a child. Nacho actually just got married. So all of these people are supporting their families and they're really grateful for this work. And I say that because I made a post on Instagram once showing it and someone got really triggered and upset by this, by this idea of seeing these men doing this labor. Um, so I just wanted to point that out, that everyone here, and this is really important, everyone here is very, very well cared for, very appreciated, very loved, very listened to. So especially with Ashley, who you guys maybe haven't met in these videos, if you haven't been following on my Facebook page, she's such a powerful, loving, caring, compassionate woman with so much experience, and she's all about people care. So it's really important on this project that the people who are involved feel really, yeah, really good and really valued. So, see. That's great. So this is going to take, I'm not sure how much time this is going to take. Um, we'll have to wait and see. Um, but yeah, so it's really exciting. So, oh, now you can kind of see. So this is what the walls look like before they put the cob layer on. So here is we have these rough stones. So this is without that, those flat lajas I was telling you about. So um, I'll show you in a second. We'll go back out and look where on the outside of the wall, it looks really smooth and pretty and nice. And that's these, that's this flat stone called lajas which are covering, covering the, yes, covering the really kind of um, frumpy rocky stone. So here, let me show you now. So remember what that kind of looked like? Yes. And then, oop, so here are the lajas. So here are the lajas, which look much nicer, much cleaner. Hey, okay, okay, stop. Okay, so I'm trying to show something. Um, and yeah, and the guys did, have done such a great job. They really, you can really tell that they take a lot of pride in their work. And they have made it look so clean, so nice, so pretty. And so the cob is gonna go essentially on this layer here. And yeah, so, so there you have it. Oh, and there's our big pile of sand, which is one of our materials. So when it comes to natural building, the materials that we are working with are some wood, like in the bodega, the tool shed down there, there is wood framing. And here on this house, on the second floor, there will be wood framing on the second floor. So the thing with natural building is you wanna use as minimally processed materials as possible. So, and also as locally sourced as possible. So the stones that we're using here come from the land. 
The clay, the earth that we're using comes from the land. The sand is brought in, but from someplace nearby. So we're using clay, straw, water, and sand. So right now the mixture that they're doing with this cob here has more clay. Whereas when we did the bodega down here, which I showed you guys in another video, there was a lot more straw in that one. And the different techniques have their different benefits and qualities. The one with straw, the light clay straw technique, it's a lot more lightweight. So that's what we're planning on doing for this house here is the first floor is going to be with this heavier clay thick material that's really strong and load bearing. While the second floor is going to be the light clay straw technique like we did over here with the tool shed. So it's going to be really cool to see how it works out and how it develops over time. And the guys are doing such a great job and I'm so grateful for them. And I know that they really appreciate being on this job and I really appreciate having them on this job. So it's a, it's a, it's a good situation for all of us, even Frank. So this is actually, this is Frank's first time coming to the land. He got in the tuk-tuk, like I said, and followed me here as he wanted to, which is great. And I'm actually really happy about that because I really love Frank. And if he wants to be my dog, I would gladly, I would gladly accept him and care for him in his old age. Yeah, lie down, buddy. All right, guys, well, there you have it. I love you all so much. Thanks for tuning in. Um, let me know in the comments below, do you have any questions about this process? Is there anything that you would like to see or know more about? Um, in other videos, we can we can talk to the guys. You know, I explained, we, when we started this, I explained to them that they, that I'll be, you know, I do this as my work and I'll be making videos and they were totally cool with it, totally fine with it. And we talked to them in, in other videos. Um, Sometimes I think they might be a little shy to be put right on camera, but we'll see if we can get them on in other videos so you can get to know them better too because they're all just really sweet beings and I feel very, very grateful to have them on this project. Oh my gosh, Fievel is running around down there, having a great time. I think the dogs um, feel at home here, which is really nice. Oh yeah, Fievel and Luna. Good, this is their first time meeting. They're, they're probably going to be friends for a while. Cause they're neighbors now. <laughs> the cuties. All right, cuties. Thanks for tuning in. I love y'all so much, and I will see you in the next video very soon. Bye. Bye.